Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. If you have a Kia Sportage or Kia Sorento and you have engine light on and any of the following four codes guys, I'm talking about code P0351, 352, 353, 354. How to actually guys fix that, what causes it. We will explain everything from start to finish. Make sure you stay until the end. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years, for instance they started using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016-17 depending on the market guys, and that's a 2.4 GDI engine. So before we start let me introduce you to the channel every single car we get at the garage guys we take them completely apart and we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you also guys if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from specifically this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel auto repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so with that being said guys okay let's uh, start on it now this is the upper engine cover we will need to remove the upper engine cover okay for that repair so uh, before we do that guys i want to i want to share some information with you guys many of you ask me in the comment section below what computer we will use for diagnostics this is the one that we use guys i'll put the link in the description of the video below it's a computer that can pay itself off in one time use and it works on almost any car you can think of so once you remove the upper engine cover that upper engine cover attaches with four bushings okay you can see two four posts okay you can see right here so with that being said guys if you have okay if you have uh, uh, any of these codes 351 352 353 354 guys what what it means it means that most likely guys okay you have problems with one of the ignition codes you have four ignition codes one two three four respectively cylinder number one starting from the very first side okay will be that one number one the very first on the left so if you have code 351 you have problems with that ignition codes 352 is cylinder number two 353 is cylinder number three and 354 is cylinder number four respectively so things to check guys make sure the wires are not broken or not eaten okay sometimes we've seen Rollins do that number two guys check that that safety pin is pushed in sometimes okay if it's left like that your ignition code can get loose guys uh, another thing Okay, remove the, uh, remove the, uh, okay, the connector, inspect it to make sure, okay, everything's good, you don't have anything bent, and if all that checks out fine, most likely you have bad ignition coil. Now, what you can do to find out if it's a bad ignition coil, let's say you have a code 352, what I'll do, I'll put the number two ignition code on cylinder number one and if uh, reset the codes and if you get a code 351 it means that you have a bad ignition code swap them and see if the code changes now inspect for engine oil as well guys because you may have leaking engine oil from the valve cover when you remove them and if that's the case you need to remove and replace the valve cover gasket that will have a complete video how to do that thank you for watching guys and see you next time